Hello, here's what we're going to do today. I'm going to walk you through updating the databases in this airplane. It's probably one of my favorite things. One of the things I really, really, really like about the Garmin Avionic system is the ease and quickness of updating the databases. That has to do with the navigation we use, the charts we use, uh, there's also some train and taxi stuff. So I'll take you through that. So let's come along and I'll show you how we do this from beginning to end. First, I turn the batteries on. You notice I have the power hooked up. I will not hit that until I see what the charts do. Now, because I'm going to use a GPU, I'm going to come down over here and turn the air conditioning off. Otherwise, it'll kick on when I turn the GPU on. I'm also going to come over here and turn the ADS probes on. The old time, the old schoolers will think of that as the uh, pitot static, but we call them ADS probes. See, everything's firing up in here just so it doesn't start talking to us. I will turn speakers off and you come up here you see everything is on a date well not not everything the ones we're really worried about i'm most worried about the nav and the chart then the obstacles airport directory and the safe taxi probably in that order so we'll get those updated now now that i see they're on a date i'll come down here before i put power to it I always check down here I go to the electrical page and even though it said it was available and it should be safe I always like looking at this and I like looking at the batteries now I haven't flown this airplane in two and a half weeks so the batteries are weak so we're also going to use the GPU here I'll push the button and when I push it it'll turn the GPU green and it'll take the shed buses to green which means they have power that is why I turn the AC off because otherwise it'll make a lot of noise in the hangar as the environmental system runs so the GPU became green, shed buses went on, and we're ready to get started. Every Phenom comes with a little, well as far as I know, every Phenom comes with a little card. This, these are all the SD cards we use. For basically today I'll be using this one for the nav, and I'll have to turn the power off to pull out the three SD cards for the charts. Now, you see some other ones here. Let's see, this is the TAWS unlock, this is a synthetic vision, this one here is the chart unlock, and this one here is the surface watch. These are how they unlock certain things in this in this uh, system. Because everyone gets the same system, then these are what you pay for when you buy the airplane. This is for maintenance data loading. So like when we have a problem, we'll do a CMC download. I don't know what CMC stands for off the top of my head. Then we'll send it to Embraer Engineering, and they sometimes tell us what they think is wrong with the airplane. So even though I showed you how power, I kind of did one misstep. I'm going to turn the GPU back off. And I'm going to turn the power off in the airplane. And then here's the SD card right here. I'll take that one out. I'll take this one out, MFD. And over here I'll take the PFD2. So I have the three cards in the bottom slot, from the bottom slot. And then I'll, I'll take them into my office and show you what we do. So on the computer here, we just have an icon. We've downloaded the Jepson Distributed Manager. I'll pause it here as I get my password in. So here's a screen of the Jepson Manager. So we got, this one is April 23rd to May 21st. And this one is April 20, March 25th, April 23rd. Now it's, it's only, let's see, it's April 13th. You know, we will, uh, we'll just go ahead and put the current one in because I will fly this airplane tomorrow so that way we'll have the current one. So I got all three cards here. Notice they're all face up and I'll kind of show you. The nav one is the one I do first. It takes its own card. Let's slide it in. It'll pull up the window, yeah. So now I'm gonna take this one here and I'll transfer it to device. Now I've only already downloaded this, but it doesn't take very long. This is about how fast it goes. I named that card. This one did not come with the airplane, so I named it our airplane. Continue. It's done transferring that SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. And then click eject device. That SD card is ready to be installed in the airplane. So I always take this card. I set it upside down here. That means done. These have to do. 
Here's PFD1. Notice these are labeled real small PFD1. I just go in order. Okay, the SD card's in. Again, it's a little slightly different. I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna do like, and what I think is important first, electronic charts. Those are issued April 3rd. They don't really have a true, ex they have an expiration date, but they don't put it on there. So we'll transfer device. I won't do this whole one. I'm gonna put in a Garmin E, yep. Continue. Now this one is the longest one. So I won't bore you, wait for it to download because it's got 336 megabytes, done about 35. So it's, it's over, it'll take a while, but I'll just pause. And it is saying it's done now as well. That actually took about five minutes. The first chart one takes the longest because not only does it download it, then it has to unpack it and load it. So that one's done. I'll click that out again, just like that. Click, eject. I should have set my camera down, propped it up. So now I'll put the MFD in. And this one's done, so it's upside down. I'll minimize this. Get that out of the way. I'll transfer the device. And you see now it's already it's already downloaded, so it keeps that same transfer in. You have to do the download three times for electronic charts. And that electronic chart is done. That's how fast it does after the first time. Now, I didn't do the train. Excuse me here. Let me look here a second. Um, we'll do the safe taxi. Continue. Here's the obstacles. Gotta make sure it doesn't jump on me here. Transfer. Yep. Yeah, three things per card. The safe taxi is already done. Excuse me, the obstacles are done. Now this safe taxi is done. So we got safe taxi. This is from the first card I did, and I did not load the safe taxi and the obstacle. I have to go back. So this card, we got the electronic charts done, safe taxi done, obstacles done. So I'll close all those. Come here, eject. just because I was filming, I made a slight mistake. This first card I did, I didn't do the safe tax analysis. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to pause this. While I... Okay, I got all the cards done. So I got the three, four cards here. I got the three in my left hand. We're going to do those first. So in the order of PFD1, MFD, PFD2. I'm going to wait with the nav. And I'll show you why. So we'll come across here. PFD1, bottom slot. MFD, PFD2, and I'll put power to the airplane. This is what it says. So I'm talking about initializing all this different stuff, continue. You can hit a key if you want it to go faster. And I do like to come down here and turn off the speaker. And when you're updating, it does a lot of weird things. You'll get some X's here and there. Notice here it's saying a few different things. It's saying verify an obstacle, verify and chart, verify and safe taxi. We don't do the airport directory, so that always is expired. I have not put the navigation in, so it's showing expired. So that's good. Everything's just like normal. You can even come down here, go to utilities, setup, database status. This will show you what's expired and what's not. So and it's verifying, it'll have to verify these before you use them. I'm gonna go and pull this up. Just so we have power to the airplane and we're using GPU power. Again, we kind of got to charge our batteries up for next time we go anyway. I'll wait for that sync to be done. It'll take about two or three minutes. Then I'll get to the next step. You're just waiting. There, it's overall 100% progress. I'm sorry it's not focusing too well. I'm trying to get it. Now it says sync complete. And here's an important one. Data 
sync complete, on ground power cycle required. Pretty common. Now here's where it gets a little interesting. I can either turn the power off in the airplane, but we're not gonna do that quite yet. We're gonna come down here. I'm gonna turn the light on. Here it says PFD1, circuit breaker. I'm gonna pull that. Boom, that, that just went out. Then I take nav, top slot, in. Now hit, and this is why I turn the speaker off. See how it does funny stuff? You can start getting some X's and it's all sorts of interesting stuff. I'm gonna turn that light back off so you can see a little better. It'll do some funny things, give you some interesting message, but now I'll push that circuit breaker in. This will come back up. Sorry about my reflection there. And it says, do I want to update the standby? Well, yes, I do. So I hit that. Now it's updating. If you don't hit anything, it'll do no. But right now it's updating standby navigation. Please wait. You do a lot of waiting. I'm going to keep it on just to kind of show you how fast. Now it's updated. So I can wait eight seconds, but I'm not. Hit yes again. Or any. Do I want to update the active? Well, yes, I do. So now I hit yes again. It's updating the active navigation. It's done. So I'm gonna hit a key, but realistically, I'm actually gonna go back down here, pull circuit breaker again, come up here, flip that card out. I gotta pull that one, PFD2. There it is. It's off, put the card in. Circuit breaker in. I'll go ahead and hit this circuit breaker when I'm at it. Now this will come up and I'll do the same thing here. We got, and then we gotta do it with the MFD. So it's gonna ask me about the standby again. So I hit yes down there. You wait. There it just came up. I'll hit the key again real quick to make it faster. Do I want to update the active? Yes, I do. So now we're updating the active. It's already done there. It took about two seconds, and I'm gonna tell you, this is why I turn the speaker off, because it does some weird stuff. You get X's coming up. Um, I won't get into why, but it does, but it always comes out of it. Now I gotta come over and pull this circuit breaker again. PFD one, two. Then, this time, I am gonna actually turn the power off. Push that circuit breaker in. It says I can pull the two circuit breakers for the MFD. The MFD is fed from both sides, left and right. I'll put this in, power up, uh, speaker's back on, this one doesn't say stay where you left it, For, and then it, this is going to ask you, charts will be verified before you use, this is what it'll say when every time you fire it back up, so yes, I'm activate, sorry, I came up and hit a, yes, or I, so, I'm so used to doing it, I went ahead and hit yes before I say anything, but I'm hitting these buttons down here. Power. System failure. That's a normal cast message because we got different databases in here, and if things don't match across the airplane, you don't get certain messages. Now it's already done, so I'm gonna hit yes. I'll hit standby. I'm gonna turn come down from the speaker off just so it doesn't keep chirping at me. Speaker off, speaker off, and see all those X's. Always does this kind of stuff. It is done here. So this is done updating. Now the airplane just has to find itself. It's kind of like like after waking up from a nap, sometimes you kind of got to think about what's going on. But I'm going to come down here, utilities, utilities, setup, setup, database, database, and it's pending to sync. It's got to sync and verify it. So it'll go through that now for a while. Notice up here, they're not in yellow anymore. Now they are. Where's the nav? It expires April 23rd. So once it's synced here. We'll have to do a ground power cycle, then it'll work just fine. The sink probably is a, what takes the longest of anything. It probably takes about five to seven minutes. So I'm going to pause you here. Well, it didn't take as long as I thought it would. They're all synced. Again, it, it will take a ground power cycle to basically find itself again, kind of reset it. And that's why these exits are still here. You cannot fly at this point. You can't start the engines to go. you got to turn the power off. I'm just going to leave it because i got a few other things that I need to get done. And then I'll turn the power off when I'm done with that. Because right now, I'm just going to let, while well, I get the stuff done in the office, 
I'm going to split the GPU in here because the GPU will charge the batteries in this airplane. So we'll just kind of top off the batteries and we'll fly it tomorrow. So I hope that helped you. And actually, I will tell you, when I turn the power off, I will pull that top SD card out. You do not have to have the nav SD card in. The charts do stay in. So what we'll do is we'll put the, the nav card in with all those maintenance cards and we'll keep them in the airplane. You always keep those in the airplane. In case you have a glitch where you lose your Taj or synthetic vision or something, you can reload them. Hope that helped. Seems a little complicated, but it's really not too bad once you do it a few times. I hope you enjoyed that video of updating the databases. It's really a little simpler than it sounded. It seems like I can't talk fast enough. Now, this is the aircraft maintenance manual that Ember gives you if you want to read something while you're doing it. It's very in-depth and you kind of should read it and break down what they're trying to do because some of the things they talk about seem a little too simple. Like you talk about all these circuit breakers and all this stuff. And I mean, it's one, two, I just lick my fingers. You're not supposed to do that anymore. One, two, it's five pages long. Oh, maybe six. It's six pages long. And it's step by step by tedious step. Then to top on that, they got pictures of where the SD cards go. This is for the G3000. This is for the G1000. So they do have stuff, but if you ever read this, sit in the airplane and go through it once without actually doing it, and you'll see certain steps seem very rudimentary, and it's a little easier than they make it. So I hope that helps. They do have maintenance manual, and you can get that. So last thing we're gonna do today, I told you I hadn't flown the airplane for a while. We're actually gonna pull the plane forward and just get the tires on a different spot so they're not flat spotted. Because if you fly the airplane after it's been sitting for about a week, the tires will flat spot slightly. What's amazing is you'll take off and you'll feel it, you'll feel it shudder just a little bit. You feel that little thump 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 down the runway. And they don't seem to come out of it until you brake real hard and the tires get hot and more pliable, then they get round again. So we'll actually move it today, let it sit in a different spot, and then fly it tomorrow. And then we'll just do a couple approaches, cycle the valves in normal flying, cycle the gear because we're normally flying. Then we'll go up and shoot some approaches just to get some practice in and that'll be it. So enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.